what is going on guys and welcome to a special episode where we are going to be showing you the behind the scenes of probably my most popular series I've ever done, Minecraft. Oh Cops my god. Lives. So I've got Zai joining me because Hello. if you wasn't aware already, she is the one that helped me out with the Minecraft Comes Alive series. So when I need other characters and things like stuff that I can't do by myself, I need like to interact with someone or something like that, she is all of them people. She is King Falco, she is Tim, she is she is all of them. I deserve an Oscar. <laughs> yeah, she's all of them in one. So I thought I would do this kind of behind the scenes because there's so much interest in it. Um, a lot of people asking what mods do we use, um, how do we do certain things, and today I plan to show you how we did it. So maybe you could do your own kind of role plays in the future or whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, are you ready, my little assistant? Yes, I am. Right. So, first thing I think we should start with are the sets and the areas that we usually do all our scenes in. Okay. So that's fine. This first one is this, which is kind of blown up. This was my village. Um, all the stuff that you're going to see now is built by Capitano12. He's on the fan server. He built all of this all by himself, like literally no help. And um, yeah, that's why MCA, I don't know if you guys remember, you probably don't. But MCA took so long to start. Like it took so long to start because this was all being built. He built both villages. But this is basically my set. Um... Yeah, I asked to just for a medieval village and he kind of separated all the different houses and stuff like that. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, what else can I show him? Around There's, here? um, they know about the secret tunnel, the yeah, cave and the stuff. We asked for the secret tunnel because, um, we, well, I knew, I kind of knew what I was going to do with the story beforehand. Um, so guys, how it works, this is how I do MCA, like the actual timeline in it all. Every single episode has a script and I have to write out all the script for the episode, like what Sai's going to say, what I'm going to say and when we're going to say it, just so we can keep on track and everything like that. So that's the first thing I have to do. And then after that, we jump on and we record the clips together and then we do um, any different type of clips. How we record the clips, we do it in loads of different ways we use a mod called custom npcs um and these characters that you can see on the floor right here these are custom npcs that i just picked him up and then i can like place him back down right there all right sorry about that guys well like my nose just exploded <laughs> i just sneezed <laughs> um but yeah these are the custom npcs um yeah you can i'll i'll show you how to use them a little bit later in the video like how you can get them to lay down and all these different other positions but this is a mixture of custom npcs and more player models that is the two mods that you do that but zai is actually king falco right now oh yep this is me so for any cut scenes that you had to do like the king's following you somewhere or he's going to take you down to the cell. Any of those cutscenes were done by me. I would turn into that character. Or if there was a scene where I also needed to talk, like with Paolo, I would go ahead and morph into him. And I would go ahead and change my nickname to that player's name so that it would all kind of coincide and make sense. Yeah. And so that's how we did that. Some of you may be thinking, how do you change your nickname and stuff? Like if I just type in the chat right now, if I type test, my name's Willow because I was being Zai's daughter in one of the last time that I was doing it so how do we change our nickname we do slash nickname and then I will just do like Ricky right and there you go my nick says nickname set to Ricky um how you do that is a mod called forge essentials and it's like essentials that you get on any big server or anything like that and it allows you to change your nickname create warps and stuff like that so that's how we set our nickname because one thing that you may not may not have realized while we was recording like paolo's name is paolo the guard but when when zai talks in chat it just says paolo so that's something we couldn't do because of the mods like limitations but mm -hmm. that's how we do all them scenes and like if we were going to do a cut scene or something like that with king falco sitting there and um let's say paolo needed to walk in zai would stand by that door i would press f1 like that and so you couldn't see it and then we'd be like three, two, one, and then Zai will walk in and then that would be our little cutscene, our little transition to our next scene and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how we did 
all that kind of stuff like Zai basically we use the morph mod so we could morph into whatever we want so we could be any characters we want like right there I'm Willow I could be Zai if she needs me to be Zai I could be Paolo um, so that's how we do all the other ones and Zai's Serenity right there and I think um, her name is spelled wrong as well yeah I think it is um, so the next one we do so when when we need like three characters what we usually do is we use custom NPCs. So this is a custom NPC right here. And as you can see, I've got all these mods on right now. And this is a custom NPC mod. So to create a custom NPC, we use the wand tool. And we right click and then you get all these different options here. You can display their name. You can give them a title. You can give them a model, how they look. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. Anything you want to do. Um, if you go back you can change their texture so you can actually get a link on a website and put a skin there you can give them a cape you can do all this kind of stuff stats you can change their health this is this area here the stats this is how we got on fighting in the battle scene when they were like fighting each other and stuff like that you just kind of go through all these options set them to be aggressive stuff like that and then they fight each other again ai is pretty similar it like you can rotate where they're standing and stuff i'll tell them if you want them to walk and all that kind of stuff it's got every single option you could think of you can give them items like if i wanted to put a sword in his hand i put it there and the sword goes in his hand as well and advanced this is a little bit complicated advanced this is how you set up factions and how if you want to give them a job and stuff like that I, I, we never really used it that much we only really used the job role for them to follow you so if you want to if you want them to follow you around you give them a job but that's that's the only time we really used it and global um we didn't even use any of this stuff here um but i can give you an example of like I've, I've just created a custom npc right now so what i want him to do i want him to sit down so i go to movement i go to edit and here we go look moving type we can have standing wandering moving path or anything so i'm just going to keep him standing still i don't want him to go anywhere so he's going to stand there his animation is going to be sitting lying sneaking dancing aiming crawling hugging normal you can choose whatever you want but i'm going to cl click normal his rotation i want it to be stalking that means he's going to follow me around but you can have manual where you can set whatever rotation you want but we're going to keep it on stalking and stop on interact that means when you right click on them you can interact with them uh, and walk speed whatever i'll just leave it like that but if i click on this guy now look he's going to be sitting down that's how we did it and then wherever i walk walk around he's going to be following me that's the stalking thing um another thing that we did quickly with the custom npcs if we wanted to talk to them we could set the interact line so if you go to advance go to lines and then go to interact lines and if i say like in there i'll say hello Zai and I type that in and then I press X but you can also add another line if you want as well so I do hello Ricky like that so he's got two lines hello Zai hello Ricky I click the X button and if I right click on him now he will say hello Zai if I right click on him again he'll say hello Ricky so that's how you get him to talk as well if you don't have someone to help you like I did with Zai yep. but yeah that's how that works so pretty useful isn't it yeah, and then usually when I um, when like let's say we needed a lot of dialogue between that person and like you for instance, mm -hmm. I would we would go off of the script and I would copy and paste every line and in between that we would have pauses and that's why you did a lot of cutscenes to cover up for that and to just make yeah. it look a lot better. Yeah, so whenever you saw like a scene where I don't know, like I was talking to King Falcook and then all of a sudden it would like zoom into my face like this, like I am with Zaya, like that. Whenever you saw that, what that means is we probably made a mistake <laughs> and we yes. did we did that <laughs> scene like twice. But the reason we do the little cut scene like zoomed into Zaya's face is because when we put that over the video, the change of scenery makes you not realize that there was any kind of mistake or anything like that so it mm -hmm. just flows nice and smoothly um something to go with the custom npc mod is the more player models that i was telling you about and if you press i think it's what is it is it f10 yeah f10 if you press f10 you get this little option and it you can customize anything 
on your own character so like i can make my character into a bat if i want to it's kind of similar to the morph mod but it just gives you extra options i can make my character bigger if i want to but the main thing that's good with the more player models is if you press these different keys look if i press z on my keyboard he lays down if i press x he sits down if i press Aww. c he lay he lays on his front like that because i think you could fly like that now uh no i don't think so and if i press v he's like a zombie i think it's b and then the p he's like dancing so it's got all these custom things you can't do this with custom npcs this is more player models but the good thing about these two mods is they're made by the same person so they go together like perfectly so you don't have to worry about any like uh compatibility issues or anything like that um but yeah that is pretty much how we did most of it like we have custom npcs we have minecraft comes alive so we can get the normal like people to follow us and i just had an extra person <laughs> zai as well me <laughs> um so that's the best i can explain the mods the mod is quite complicated guys i can't give you like a full tutorial on it because i don't even understand all of it i just know how to use it for what i needed to use it for um mm -hmm. so if uh, if you want to try it out just get it yourself and just like mess around with it that's all we did and we finally worked it out i guess right now i can show you, you all the sets that we did so this is um this is my village where all my stuff was recorded what about the witch who built that was that yeah, I built the witch's house. Okay, the witch's hut, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to show them all the sets. So that's my village right there. Some of you may guys not may not have realised this, but Zai's village is literally just over here. Look, these are all the army that we had of people. That was, one, that was another scene that we did. But if you just fly over here, and just as it starts to render in, you should be able to see it. Zai's village is not yeah, far. Yeah, you'll see some, like, dark oak wood yeah, there trees. It is. It's right there. So Zai's village is not far away at all, but we made it kind of seem in the episodes that it was really far away because we never actually showed us walking to each other's villages or anything like that. So yeah. we wanted to give the impression that it was really far. But that's Zai's village. That's where she does her MCA. Her MCA is not finished, so don't worry about that. She's continuing doing that. So I'm not going to fly in there just in case I don't want to spoil anything she's got, <laughs> she's got planned. Um, so... <laughs> Um, the mod that I mentioned earlier was Forge Essentials where you can set your nickname and you can do warps and stuff like that. So we have a few warps. So if I do warp witch. Now this is the witch's hut. So this is where we recorded a few scenes for the witch's hut. So this is quite far. No, not that far. My village is right there as you can see. And uh, the, yeah, so we do a few scenes around here. Um, the witch usually is in here. But again, the witch is usually Zai. She's usually morphed into a witch or I'm the witch when she needs a witch. So um yeah, so um TP to me a second. Yeah, okay. Where are you now? I'm at the witch's hut. Okay. Are you here? Mm-hmm. I don't see you. I'm here. Oh, Behind so, you. So morph into a witch. Uh, let me see if I have one. You I should might do. No, I don't. Oh, I do. Right. So usually what we do is like, see, see Zai's right there and I would be the witch. So if she needs to like interact with the witch, I would set my nickname to Tabitha because that is the witch's name. <coughs> and um, yeah, we would just like do a scene like this and then that would be it. That's how we... Do you remember this scene that was really good where I, where I was the witch and then I morphed into a bat and flew out? <laughs> Oh yeah, that was one of the first ones. Yeah, where, that was yeah. So Zai would have to be the witch like this, and then as we were talking, she would morph into a bat. Or well, I don't have a bat on here, but as we were talking, she would morph into a bat and she'd just fly, fly out, out the roof like uh -huh. that. So that was one of the scenes that we did before. Um, next scene is probably if I walk to my village now, um, is the dungeon like the. The dungeon kind of prison where we did the oh, shoot. Oh, you TP to me. I'm there. Oh, okay. We, where we did the shooting and stuff like that. Oh, it's TP Zai. Let's play. So there we go. So this is where the dungeon is. It's not far. My village is just there. You just can't see it. But this is where the dungeon is, where the village. Um, this dungeon is actually, like, identical to the prison that I have underneath my village. But we just kind of, like, made it look a bit more spooky and stuff. 
and uh, a bit more abandoned. Yeah, oh, there I am. That's so I stand in there. That's a custom NPC. We just put that there to like get a screenshot or something like that, where we could like zoom into her face and get a little cutscene and stuff like that. It's a lot of work, guys. It really is, but it's worth it, I think, in the long run. It's a lot of tedious work <laughs> of placing everybody where they need to be placed, having the lines. Especially there was a, um, a few scenes where I needed to talk for someone, but there was also a third character, and we didn't have a third person. Mm -hmm. So you would do your lines, I would do my lines, and then we would pause so that I could do the other person's lines. Yeah, well. so we'd have to be like typing in the chat whilst we were like acting in a scene as well so it's kind of crazy <clears throat> it would be ideal if we could have more people to help us out but we only just have each other so uh, we we'll just do it the best that we can <laughs> we have each other but yeah guys i think that is pretty much it i can't think of anything else to show you so like i said guys the main mods that we use well, well first thing is on a server you have to have a server um, you don't have to you could do this in single player if you want to do it by yourself But this is a server as you can see right there um, So the first thing is a server second thing it has to be a forge server So you have to have like forge installed on your server um, And then the mods that we use are forge essentials custom NPCs and more player models They are the main ones that we used right? I can't think of anything else that we use um, That's it really that was it right? Mm -hmm. And then other than that you just oh the morph mod the morph as well yeah uh, other than that you just kind of like set your npcs down you set their lines if you want to talk to them you set up what how you want them to be like laying down standing up or you get someone else to help you to kind of like turn into another character and type in chat so that's how we did it guys that's how we did the um the mca so uh, what it was a lot of work um i think it was worth it MCA season three will be coming out. I don't know when. I, I'm not going to give you a date because I don't know when it's going to be. But when I get the story down and I know get all the sets built and stuff like that, then yeah, there will be an MCA season three. But in the meantime, you will probably get another role play, a different kind of story, not MCA, just like a com complete new role play before you get MCA season three. So um, yeah, I want to try and get a new role play out, but. Yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this so you kind of had a better understanding of what kind of work goes into it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it pretty yep. much. Did you want anything else to say before we say Did bye? I want anything else to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's it. You covered everything, really. Yeah, so guys, if you have any questions, put it in the comments. I will try my best to answer them. Um, I will... If I can remember, I will link the mods in the description. If not, just search it on Google. They should come up straight away. And just remember, <laughs> we are by no means like custom NPC experts. So no. don't expect like to us to know all the details. Like well, we might be able to answer some of your questions, but not if they're very in depth and stuff. Yeah. What I showed you is what I know. I don't know any more than that. I'm still learning the mod myself. So I I can't really tell you any more than what <laughs> I've already told you because that's all I really know. The, the, the custom NPC mod can do so much more. I just need to learn it. So, But that's it, guys. That is how I did MCA, and that is the behind the scenes of MCA. Mm -hmm. Right, guys. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. There will be a new role play hopefully soon when I get everything all sorted out. Um, but that is it. So I'll see you in another MCA video in the future. Bye. Bye guys. It doesn't matter where they are. Do you feel this? You brought this upon our village. I didn't bring any of this upon your village. You guys did this yourself. If you would have let me and Serenity go in the first place, none of this would have ever happened. This is down to you.